but they end, uh, they, they end an exam. If you were to pass, you could really say you are Muslim. If you could fail, you are shot dead. If you are Muslim, your life was safe. You were just required to recite some, 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 some you know, uh, maybe Quran, whether in Swahili or English, and then you are told you are our brother, just go. I sometimes I could not imagine this is not reality. How can this happen? How can people who I know? That is somebody, that is somebody. I know these people, are they really dead? Ministry has been affected, outreach has been affected because of fear. Many people are living in, are living traumatized. We only have a, a Sunday service that is guarded by policemen. When believers come to the church, the first thing they check is whether the policemen are there. The attacks have meant the pastors to come close, to be united. Their pastors have begun to pray together, to regard the other better than uh, oneself, to pray for one another, to do things together. Now as we get to the first anniversary, uh, commemorating the, the, our heroes of faith who, uh, who died in Garissa terror attack, let's still continue praying for their families. I tell you, some of these families are still in pain, are still in agony, but I am sure it is through your prayer, it is your prayers that has made us, you know, strong. It is some of your prayers that have made me remain strong. Some are saying I am very strong, but I tell you, were it not for prayers, I could not have come this far. I could have collapsed at the very day, but because the grace of God is sufficient, let's continue holding one another as one body. God bless you. Amen.